Hi, this is a reading for you. It is not attached to a zodiac sign nor a timeline. The intention is if you come across this reading, it should benefit you in some way. That being said, let's get started. I've pulled some cards for you here. Excuse the noise. I've pulled some cards for you here. And it, you know, I'm going to say that I think you're learning some lessons right now. Because you have the Seven of Wands representing you. This is someone who is defending their position. They feel attacked even. You can see how he has all these wands pointing up at him and he's sort of like, back up. The thing to keep in mind with this is you do have an advantage and maybe even more than you perceive because he is above them. You know, however, on your mind, this is sort of a wounded perspective. This could come from past um, situations or scars that have been left on your emotions or mentality. This is someone who feels like they need to protect what little they have. But I feel like what you're going to come to realize through all this is that you have a lot more than you realize. And it's interesting because, you know, crossing you, you have the, the two of swords. I feel like this is sort of a self-imposed prison or having someone around you who kind of doesn't know how to deal with this. They feel sort of stuck. It's like, I don't know the solution to this. But on ground level, you know, it's like there's healing on your end. And this card somehow how snuck in twice because even in the outside influence, we have it again. Okay, so I feel like if especially if it's involving another person, I feel like there's healing on both ends. And it's beautiful because the outcome of this ahead of you is the Queen of Cups. You know, so this is bringing you to a new level of fulfillment, a new level of focus, a new level of understanding, especially in your emotional self and you know it's like you're sort of pondering how all this will go or or the value of this or how it will look and i feel like you're able to let go i feel like you're able to move intuitively because in the outcome we have the star there is relief there is a sense of healing of refreshment of transformation of alchemy and this comes through your experiences and your realizations in situations that maybe struck up difficult emotions or, um, you know, even triggers for you. And this brings us into sort of a new chapter because <clears throat> from this point, it's like we move into... Um, realizations you have the tower on your mind so it's like the structure of how you have seen things the structure of how you've felt about things how you've operated it's kind of collapsing and that can be unsettling but in this case it's very necessary um you're represented by the ten of pinnacles so it's sort of coming to understand that you do have solid foundations here and I feel like you're becoming aware of a lot of your own shortcomings as well. And you're able, behind you, you have the 10 of wands. So I feel like you're able to sort of, you know, take an honest look at this and start to drop some of this excess burden. And maybe also realize that you have certain people in your corner or you have a valuable relationship or you have people you can trust um, because you have strength in the outcome. This is a restored sense of faith. And though, you know, maybe your actions have confused someone, they're willing to roll with it. And this is sort of like a significant choice that you have made that will determine the outcome of your future. And very much for the better because we have the Hierophant and the Queen of Wands. So if this is about a relationship, it's, it's a very good one. It doesn't have to be. It could be a union with yourself or like a partnership or, you know, something that comes along that is significant in the sense of your self-development and life or even professional development. If you're resonating so far and you're enjoying this reading, definitely feel free to like and subscribe. 
Um, I also do have the option available to book a personal reading with me available on my website, which you can find in the link below. And there is always an extended version of these readings available on my Patreon, which is also available in the description below. I feel like there's a need to give something or someone a little bit of space or like give more time to contemplation. Like don't feel like you have to move on whatever impulse comes to mind. And you know, because I feel like when you do that, you just confuse certain situations and maybe you know, it's like, say you were concerned about messing something up and so you like try to fix it. That's actually contributing more to messing things up than you realize. <laughs> you know, this is, this talks about finding that process of controlling the inner world, um, mastering your will, triumph over the self, triumph over your own internal battles. And by the way, when you do this, I feel like things will move along quite well. And even with that comes lessons of development because it's almost like you have to learn how to manage all of this. It's like things start really moving. And this is someone who has a lot to take care of at, at one time. So in a lot of ways, you could be stepping out of your comfort zone and learning to manage more than you ever have and learning how to sit in a position that you've never been in. And it's all good. It's all developments. It's all progress. But there's always an adjustment period with that. So also be patient with yourself. And if you do make mistakes, don't be, you know, too hard on yourself. Yeah, there's clear direction to the sun. And you know, it's also like, the thing is that whether it's in your professional life, whether it's in your personal life, whatever context it's in, right? We have, nobody wants to like work with someone or be with someone or um, you know, life doesn't respond well to hasty or even like aggressive behavior. And in a lot of ways, it's sort of trying to see things as they are and not try to control things so much. It's almost like you find more control when you let off a little bit. Um... You know, have you ever, you know, it's like when you're trying to like get something done or like, we'll put it in this analogy, like say you're playing a video game, right? And you're losing and you're getting frustrated because you really want to win or you really, or whatever, right? But the more frustrated you get, the harder it seems to get, the worse you seem to do. Whereas you may come in another day totally refreshed and not so attached to it and you just start playing and then it's like, boom, winning streak because you're approaching it from a relaxed, calm state. You're not letting your frustration like get in the way of how you do things. And you can apply that to anything, you know, um, with your work, with your relationships. It's like when we're in that spot, 
you know, sometimes it's better to just step away because the more frustrated or more like honed in on making something work you get, it, you just, you tend to meet with more resistance.